Let's get to the software applications then. The 02 will probably go into many applications where currently the 0 is used and enable them to go faster and more smoothly. I've picked a couple of project ideas for you. Many people use the 0 to drive displays. For example, there are some people who do magic mirror projects with the 0. Other people use the 0 with tiny e-ink displays or desktop indicators, for example for the Bitcoin exchange rates or as stock tickers. I've personally combined a zero with a Pimeroni blinked LED strip as a status indicator. Well, it was supposed to become one, but right now it's just bringing some nice rainbow colors into my life. Another popular application is wherever you need to display information to people, like prices of sandwiches, train schedules, or maybe even video playback. It's just like a sign, except that it's digital, and therefore people in the know also call this digital signage. Some TVs have enough power on their USB ports to allow the Zero 2W to run directly from them. Thanks to the Zero having built-in wireless, you even don't need to run any additional network cables, and are always up to date with your sandwich prices. Of course, we also have video input on the Zero 2, so there are many camera applications as well. Using the HQ camera from Raspberry Pi, you could hook up telescopes, microscopes or just regular lenses. So anything is possible, from watching the stars, watching the microbes, to just watching your neighbors. Speaking of video surveillance, this is not only useful on your property, but also in factories. Pi Zero 2 could be mounted together with a camera to monitor the product quality while the products speed by on the conveyor. We might look for things like whether the widget has holes in the right places. Thanks to the Neon extension and the newer processor of the Pi Zero 2, these image recognition applications will be significantly faster than on the previous generation. If you want to look into this topic, search for OpenCV and Deep Learning. Or speak to us if you need professional support in this area. Yes, this could also be used to distinguish cats from dogs. So the Pi knows when to block that cat flap at your front door. I've got to admit it. I've forgotten to tell you about a big and unique upside of a Zero so far. A big additional advantage of a Zero series as compared to the bigger pies is its light weight. At least for drone applications. The additional processing power of a Zero 2 is very welcome for drone applications. You can build your own autonomous drone using a device called Autopilot. For example, autopilots which support the PixHawk standard. Here you could even combine vision applications with the help of a camera port. For example, you could do precision landing by identifying your marked landing spot. The X marks the spot. Finally, retro gaming fans will be very happy about the increased CPU speed. More CPU speed means of course that you will be able to play games of more advanced game consoles. You should be able to play NES, SNES, Sega Mega Drive, PlayStation 1, Scum VM games and many more. Do you remember Monkey Island, one of my favorites? The Pi 4 is still the optimal choice for retro gaming, due to its performance. For example, N64 games will not work at reasonable frame rate on the Zero 2. But the Zero 2 allows you to do really cool hacks. For example, some people have built the Zero W into their gamepad. Other people have built Game Boys off a Zero W. There's even a commercial kit you can get to do this. The second most bizarre project in the retro gaming area I've seen has been to put the Zero into a gaming mouse. This was done to be able to play Doom with it, without any external keyboard. This was in fact Eben Upton's idea, and the staff of Magpie took him up on it. Here you can see the result. Let's talk about a cool Linux hack which actually makes this possible. Have you heard of the thing called USB Gadget Mode? It's a possibility Linux offers, and it allows you to turn the Raspberry Pi Zero to W into a USB device, rather than a USB host. It works because the USB port is directly connected to the SOC, not using a USB hub as on the bigger Pis. For example, the Zero 2 can be turned into a mass storage device, showing up as a thumb drive to the host computer, 
or an Ethernet device. Just imagine the possibilities of what you can create with this. I'll throw a couple of ideas out here. How about building your own gamepad, which can automatically play a game or has ad other advanced functions. This will surely give you an edge up on other players using just regular run-of-the-mill gear. How about a panic button? This way, when your boss suddenly comes, you can quickly open what you're supposed to work on and hide YouTube. How about a virtual flash drive, which will show different files depending on the secret pin you enter? 